In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create and integrate into your membership site a Stripe account so you can start accepting payments really quickly. The process is super fast, pretty simple. You have to have some business information, but it's a pretty simple process. This is part of the membership building playlist. Details on that down below this video. It'll help you build a membership from start to finish, including how to accept payments and actually start making money. And again, this tutorial right here is about creating and integrating your brand new Stripe account. We're getting started right now. Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to another video. It's Bjorn from WP Learning Lab, where we help you get better at WordPress so you can earn more for yourself, for your clients, and for your business. If you haven't done so yet, click subscribe, then click the bell notification icon so you don't miss anything. And with that out of the way, let's create and integrate a brand new Stripe account. I'll see you in the screen capture. I want to now register for a Platinum account. I click on register. Before this will work, as you probably guessed, we have to have a way to check out and pay. So we are currently free level, it says your level is free. We want to select the platinum, but we're not going to do that yet. We're going to go back into our admin and we're going to set up the payment gateway and SSL. Now SSL, the secure socket layer, is what puts an HTTPS before your domain name, makes it secure. You need to have one of those. Whenever you're accepting payments on your website, most payment gateways require you have them, but if you are accepting payments on your website, make sure you have an SSL. There is some gateways that you can use that take you off site. So for example, you can accept payment through PayPal. It takes people to the PayPal site to pay. PayPal has SSL. PayPal then talks with your membership site and says, okay, this person paid, give them access to this level. You can do that method for free. If you wanna do payments right on your site with them leaving your domain, which is the best way to do it, that you have to have an SSL for. So the payment gateway we're going to make right now is a Stripe gateway. So I'll show you how to do the testing in the live production in just a minute, but first we have to create a Stripe account. So let's head over to stripe.com and let's check out the pricing because that's always important to know. When someone signs up, when, pay, when they pay you anything, they charge you, Stripe charges you 2.9% plus 30 cents. So if your membership site costs $1 a month, you're going to pay 30 cents. This is Canadian, so it might be different with which, whichever country you're in, but 30 cents Canadian will come right off the top plus 2.9% off the top. That means if you're charging just a dollar, you're not doing well for that membership. The more you charge, the better it is. Clearly that, that reduces to 30%. The percentage always stays the same. Unless, of course, you have huge volumes, then you could call them. You get volume discounts for enterprise solutions. So you can get a discount with big volume. But at first, when you first start your site, you're probably going to be in this category, pay as you go. And these will be the fees that you have to pay. And this is actually pretty competitive. This is the same as PayPal Payments Pro, which is one that I use. It's also the same as Authorize.net, which is another one that I use. But the difference between those two is they also have a monthly fee. PayPal Payments Pro is 30 $35 a month plus 2.9% and 30 cents for every transaction. Authorize.net, I think is $25 a month, mine is, plus these fees. Stripe is free. All you do is you pay these fees. So there's no monthly, just transaction processing fees. I'm gonna click on create account and you simply have to fill in your email. I think I already have a Stripe account, but maybe not on this email address. So let's try it. We're going to create a legitimate password. Check I'm not a robot. This is reCAPTCHA by the way. Earlier in the settings we were able to choose reCAPTCHA to create membership accounts. This is reCAPTCHA that I just checked this box on. Create your Stripe account. And this guy already exists. Let's see. This one does not exist. Create your Stripe account. And we're in. That's all it takes. Can you believe it? You now have an account where you can process payments which is pretty awesome. But what we have to do to actually integrate this is get our secret key and our publishable key. If we go back to our account over here, we have this API tab. If we click on that, we have our API keys down here, currently in test data because we just opened our account. Click on reveal the secret key. So we have our publishable key. Just gonna copy that. Put it in the publishable key field. And then I'm going to go back and copy the secret key and put that into the secret key field. 
this option here, show billing address fields. Stripe does not require a billing address, so you don't have to add those in. This is good because it reduces card abandonment, right? Because people are very sensitive about how much information they give out online. If you don't require an address to their house to be entered in a field, they're more likely to buy. So we can have no for that. Want to set our currency? There's a lot of options here. I just keep mine at US dollars. These are the cards that you want to accept. These four are the most common ones. Sales tax changes or is different from place to place. So make sure you contact an accountant or some kind of government entity that can tell you whether you need to charge sales tax. Usually for online, digital, non-tangible products, there's no sales tax, but check with your local authorities. Otherwise, you might one day be surprised by a big bill of taxes you have to back pay, which would suck. So just confirm sales tax rates in your area. SSL, like I said earlier, you need to have an SSL certificate because they're going to be accepting payments on your site. So we want to force SSL when we have it. We currently don't have one. To get one, log on to your host's chat and ask them for an SSL certificate. And they can usually add that to your account within the next few minutes after you request it. Most SSLs cost $60 a year. Some of them are cheaper. Um, for example, if you're with WP Engine, they actually have free SSLs for you, which is a nice perk to be with them. Uh, but it depends on what host you have. If you, if you have a host that does not offer SSLs, I suggest you find a different host because every host should. Anyway, need an SSL. Go into your host's chat. They'll be able to figure it out for you. There's a seal code that you can sometimes get, which is just a piece of HTML that adds the seal to the checkout area to boost prospective customer confidence. We have the extra HTTPS URL filter. This you check if you're using an SSL and have warnings on your checkout pages. Clearly, whenever you're accepting payment, you don't want to have a warning appear on the page right, in regards to security. So if that happens, check this box. Hopefully that clears it up. I'm going to click on Save Settings now. So now we have Stripe activated in the sandbox mode on the site. So any payments we run through here are sandboxed, meaning they're not real, they're not actual transactions. But our Stripe account itself is also still in our sandbox mode. So I'm going to check or click on this Activate Your Account up here. Now we have to fill out this form. Tell us about your products. You can accept pre-orders or you want to tell them if you're accepting pre-orders or not. The account details, this is your business information. If you're a legit business, you probably have a tax ID, or if you're just starting out, you might not yet. It might be something that you get later. So this is optional. You need to add an address for the business. And I'm just making this stuff up as I go because I don't actually really want this account. It's a test account just to show you how to do this. So we'll see what happens. You can log in with one of these social networks to confirm your identity, but you don't have to. I'm just going to not do that for now. Fill in my info here. Social insurance number, tax ID. See, I don't have one of those because I'm not American. So I don't have to fill this in. If you're not American, you probably don't have a social insurance number. So you have to leave that blank and then they, they reach out to you and ask you for other government issue ID. Gov uh, credit card statement details. Here's your business name, enter a phone number, and a bunch of bank details. I don't have all these details for this account. I didn't realize I'd be adding banking details and stuff. I haven't done this in quite a while with Stripe, but you're going to want to have banking details because you're going to want to accept payments. You want to be a legitimate business. So this is all very customary stuff to fill out. I just don't have it for WP PhD, my demo account. So I'm going to try logging in to one of my other Stripe accounts to see if I've done this process already. And then I can possibly integrate that, see how that works. All right, so I'm in my WP Learning Lab Stripe account, and this one is activated. And I've changed my API settings. So I've got my new API keys from the API section here, put them into the plugin. And now we're gonna actually test first using a sandbox to accept payments. And then if that sandbox works, we're gonna try a live test. So I'm just going to head over to Google and type in Stripe testing credit card and find a test number. All these numbers down here are test numbers. So you can choose any one of them to test the card type. And these are known test numbers 
with these brands. So if Visa sees this charge appearing, they're not gonna red flag it because they know it's a test number. So it's no big deal. So I'm just gonna copy that, go back to here. Finally, get to select our membership level. Now we're at the checkout page. What's gonna be interesting to see is if this works because we don't have an HTTPS, so there's no SSL certificate on the site. So it'll be interesting to see what kind of message I get and what kind of phone calls I get after trying this. So the expiration date just has to be some date in the future. The CVV, just any three digit number, I believe. The card number, again, that's the demo number from the Stripe site. Terms of service, yes, I accept. Submit and check out. So I got a message saying, your card was declined, your request was in live mode, but used an unknown test card. Even though it's the test card that we got right from Stripe the site so let's just try getting a different one let's just try this one I already highlighted it try that put that one in here let's put this long time ahead and let's see if this one works click on submit and check out unknown test card again okay what I'm gonna do now is something really crazy I'm gonna change the membership amount to $1 and then I'm gonna use my own credit card. And I'm just gonna see what happens. And check that, I don't wanna make it recurring. Okay, so now change the platinum level to cost $1. If I go back out here, it says 15 right now. If I refresh this page, this will stay 15, this will be $1. To change that, we have to change the actual name of the membership level, so I'm just gonna go in here and change that to say just one dollar now I'm gonna use my real credit card on a non SSL which is pretty risky actually kind of stupid but I'm gonna do it anyway just to see if it'll work so I'm gonna put my credit card in here I'm gonna pause while I fill out the form okay now I've got real deal credit card details in there we're gonna see if stripe processes this without an SSL Let's cross our fingers and see what happens. Looks like that went through. So it was still in test mode. So if I go back to our plugin here, just to confirm, if we go back into page settings, could have gone right to payment settings actually. Payment and SSL, we see we are in sandbox mode. So we're not in live. So my card wasn't actually charged, but it was processed successfully. Stripe confirmed my card exists and it works and Jimmy is now a $1 member, which is pretty awesome. So that worked. I'm gonna click on view your membership for Jimmy. And what Jimmy can do now is just as the free account, we had an invoice for the free account, but he also has an invoice for the paid account now. And this is a more serious invoice because people can download these, print them off, use them for tax write-offs, things of that nature. Now, if we go back and see what we actually did this all for, go back to the platinum page, we're gonna see the platinum content and no longer a register here to see this content. This is the awesome member content. And that's it. That's how we lock pages. This is the whole membership shebang. We just built a membership site with this plugin. We added membership levels. We created all the membership pages. We created a payment or added a payment processor and we protected content. And now your job after you have this all set up is to create more content every month to keep people happy and engaged. So that's all there is to creating and integrating a Stripe account. I hope this video helps you. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them down below this video. If you want to check out the rest of the playlist, check that out down below this video. And if you haven't done so yet, click subscribe, then click the bell notification icon so you don't miss anything. And next up is clicking one of these videos that popped up on the right hand side so you can get even better at WordPress. And until next time, keep crushing it and I will see you in the next video.